Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to decompile, export and import the CSGO maps into Blender. This will be the final video of the playlist which I'm going to make for you guys. So if you're interested in watching any of the other videos such as how to import the CSGO models or how to record the footage or the AGR and get it into Blender for 3D movies then you can find it in the playlist which I will link. So the software that you're going to need is Blender, Java, CSGO, BSP Source, VMF Importer which is a Blender plugin and Blender Source Tools which is another Blender plugin. All the download links can be found in the description below. If you are new to my channel then we will be going through how to do everything in this tutorial. You don't need to watch any of my other tutorials for this one to work. If you have come from any of my other tutorials, you may already have some of this software or plugins installed. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a folder so that all of our decompiled maps can be decompiled into that folder. So I'm going to go to my file explorer and my documents. I'm just going to make a folder. I'm just going to call it YouTube map folder and probably put decompiled as well. Perfect. So once we have done that, we can now open BSP source. Um, but before we do that, make sure Java is installed and up to date. Otherwise you may have problems running BSP source. So once you know Java is all good, we're going to come down to whether you have installed BSP source. So for me, it's going to be in CSGO editing tools, BSP source and launch the executable here once you have loaded that we're going to come over um, to add and this is where we need to find where our maps are so that they can be decompiled so obviously we need to know the game file directory if you don't know where yours is installed we're going to log into steam we're going to right click CSGO, come down to properties, local files and browse. This is going to give you the directory of where CSGO is installed. So for me, it's on my D drive, documents, Steam, Steam apps, common, counter strike. Now, unfortunately, you can't copy and paste the directory, at least with not, not with my version. Uh, so I'm just going to have to remember it. So. It was documents, steam, steam apps, common, and CSGO. Next, we're going to click on CSGO again and maps. So, this is where all the map files are stored. So, I'm going to extract all of them. I'm going to click on the first one, uh, hold down shift and then left click the bottom one and this will select everything in between and itself. So that's all the maps selected and if you notice all the maps are .bsp so we don't need any of these. Next we'll click open and all our maps will be in here. Before we decompile we're going to go to this other tab over here. Make sure create hammer viz groups is selected, create hammer cameras is selected, load lump files is selected, and we're going to turn on extract embedded files and make sure smart extraction is on. So for CS uh, for Blender, we want it in VMF format. You can change it if you want it for something else, but we're sticking to VMF. And of course, we're going to be converting a .bsp file which is our map files. We're going to click on decompile and now we're going to find a folder that we just made so that we can store our maps in. So mine was called like YouTube something. 
here we go select your folder and now we wait okay so we have just finished decompiling as you can see it took me this many seconds i think it i don't know it took like five or ten minutes it wasn't really that long we didn't have anything fatal there was a few skips usually this is fine maybe something won't be textured or there might be one missing part like the maps have never come in a hundred percent i mean out of the total maps which i think was like 22 or something um you know maybe on like one or two of them maybe there'll be like one thing missing or so so it does like 99.99 percent of it which is fantastic uh but i don't think it's ever perfect which is fine you could just sort it out um if your maps are broken i do have fixed maps in my discord so if you are interested in those come join discord they're free to download next we are going to be doing the blender add-ons just setting them up doing the preferences and just making sure they have been installed correctly so you can close this down close steam down if you have it open First, we are going to go back to our file explorer. And what we're going to do, if you haven't got one already, is you want to create a Blender add-ons folder. To do that, you literally just make a new folder, call it Blender add-ons. I mean, you can call it anything, but just call it Blender add-ons. In your folder, which will be blank, we are going to drag and drop our compressed uh, add-ons into this folder. Make sure you do not unzip them just drop them in and they will all be fine so once you have dragged in your io import vmf download and your blender source tools download we can now open up blender okay so once you have opened up blender we're gonna go to edit preferences we're going to click on install so this will install the add-on add-ons that we have in our blender add-on folder so go to your blender add-on folder we're then going to click on blender source tools first and then click on install add-on i'm not going to do it because i've already done mine but make sure you guys do so next we'll go to the community tab scroll down until you find blender source tools you can also just search it in this box up here so if i type in here we go now this won't be ticked it will be blanked out like these what you're going to do is give it a tick then we're going to close it down close down blender and just relaunch it If you went to edit preferences and you did install and you couldn't find it in the list, try again now after you have re restarted Blender. It should be there now. All right, we're going to do the next add on. So we'll go to edit preferences. We're going to click on install. We're going to find our Blender add ons folder and we're going to click on IO import VMF. Click on install, mine's already installed. So I'm just gonna click on cancel. Next, I'm going to restart Blender. Boot it back up real quick. Then we'll go to edit preferences. We're going to type in uh, valve or we'll type in map. Here we go. So import valve map format we're gonna click on the box click on the arrow just to let you guys know i decided to go through with uh disable this one and just go through it with you guys it's a little bit more complicated so this is what it will look like when you've clicked on the arrow down below so we've got cache directory path so what we need to do is create a cache directory path so we'll click on a folder or file explorer i'm going to go to my documents now i already have a blender cache folder made in order to make this just go wherever you want this folder to be located 
make a new folder, click new folder, call it blender cache, call it whatever cache, doesn't really matter. Click on it and it will be empty. That's all you need to do. Now, this directory, we're going to click control C after clicking on it. That will copy the directory. We'll come down here. We'll click on the uh, folder. Next, click on directory, control V, and then click on accept. So this is basically where all our cache is going to go. Next, we need the Valve game definitions. So this is basically where we just need to get our game file, essentially. So we're going to click on the plus button. It's going to open up all this extra stuff. What we're going to need to do is we want the Valve game definitions, so the game directory, and the game VPK archive. So we're going to click on detect from a game directory. So if you've forgotten where your CSGO is already, We'll go to Steam. Let's show you guys one more time. Right click on CSGO properties, local files, browse. And here we are. We're going to click on CSGO. We're then going to left click on directory, control C, back into Blender. And into the Blender file view. Control V once you've selected the directory and click detect valve directory. And as you can see, it's done everything for us. We've got CSGO in here, the CSGO folder, and the VPK. And that's all you guys need to do. So I'm just going to close this. Again, it should be ticked. If it's not, you wouldn't be able to do that. But anyway. I'm going to restart Blender just to make sure everything goes as smoothly as possible. Just a quick note, if you guys go to edit and preferences and you can't find your thing, make sure you're in the community tab. Also if you still can't find it, make sure you have installed the add-on like we've been over and make sure it's still in the zipped version or the compressed version do not extract it okay so now everything is done let's move on to importing the maps okay so let's get importing these maps we're gonna go over to the right delete everything in the scene we're going to go to window and toggle system console so importing the map can be quite taxing on your system, meaning you might crash or it might freeze, etc. This console will tell you if you have actually crashed or not. Sometimes it will say Blender is not responding, but it's still actually working in the background, even though you can't do anything. So this is a lifesaver. Like you might be importing something for ages and you think it's crashed when it's actually still working. So always make sure you have this up when you're importing stuff. Next, we'll go to File import if your add-ons have been installed and set up correctly you will have valve map format dot vmf give it a click we're going to come down to where we decompile our maps so for me it's in this youtube folder we don't want any of these folders we just want the dot vmfs so i'm going to come down and we're going to import our favorite map and everyone's favorite map cache Make sure your game definition is set to CSGO. All of this can be left the same. If you're going to take this map into a different software, like Unreal Engine, Maya, whatever, be a good idea to click simple materials as you're less likely to have errors when exporting the materials of the map, basically. Next, Nights are fine. You can have Sky. So this is just basically the sky that comes with the map you can change the resolution if you want which is pretty cool if you don't want a sky you know you're going to replace it you can just click it off like so also you can just leave the scale to default mine's on 0.01 once you're happy with the settings go ahead and click on import this will probably take quite a long time 
uh, anywhere for me and my system between like I've had really short times like five minutes and I've had like half an hour so keep checking this console if it starts like not responding as you can see it's about to start and I will see you guys when it's done okay so here's actually everyone's favorite map Mirage um, and I know for sure Mirage has a skybox and it's right here so to get our skybox over our map we're gonna click uh, come to our collections type in sky scroll down until we get to our sky camera click on it and I actually I'm gonna highlight all of it so make sure to we're gonna go to object transform VMF 3d sky and there we go that is our sky so you might be wondering well what the hell is all this ah uh, I don't know I think I mean it's a part of the sky but obviously when you look up on Mirage you don't have any of these floating bits I think this is literally just being used to like create shadows or something I could be completely wrong. Um, yeah, that is my guess. You could delete those if you want. Pretty easy. And it's the same for these. I usually delete these. I don't actually know where these go. Um, they're not a part. As far as I'm aware, they are not a part of of the sky yeah i mean that's the map imported guys congratulations i hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you need any extra help with any of the other tutorials or the videos i have on my channel feel free to join discord it will be in the descriptions below of course feel free to ask any questions in the comments share it with all the boys and I will see you guys later. Peace.